The goal is to get the club on plane. The whole point of this video is draw a line up the shaft, get the club on plane on the way back and the way down, okay. right? So what I need to be able to do is keep that in front of that on the way back and on the way down. This is gonna feel in your way on the way down. Yeah. So when you go back, you're feeling the kind of the T drill, T towards me to the toes, a little bit shorter, and then getting the club back on plane on the way down and through. Same feels, just kind of 50, 60% speed. Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> that feels really Absolutely pure. beautiful. That was a fade too. So watch this one here. This is the first hit. This is your first hit with that water bottle on. So looking at Sabrina, water bottle down the line. Ooh. Look how good this is. Look how good that is. Look how good that is. I'm gonna need that swing. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. It's the best one you ever made right yeah, there. Yeah, that was actually really good. All right, guys, today we're out here with Miss Sabrina Andolfo. Hello. If you haven't seen Sabrina before, she's a really great YouTube channel and Instagram channel. We're gonna link those down below. I've been watching Sabrina play a little bit out on the course. I wanna help her a little bit today with her swing and some of the things that I think that you guys are gonna really benefit from being able to keep the club on plane mm. to make things more consistent. I think Sabrina will have some nice reactions as we go through. I think we'll have some, <laughs> we'll have some fun with it. Um, but if you wanna check out her channels, we'll put them down below. Sabrina, why don't we uh, dive in here? Yeah, let's do it, Beautiful. I'm excited. So did you do like an online lesson? You saw the club was getting whipped in? Yeah, so someone actually sent me a video analysis of my swing where they put the swing plane and I noticed how far inside I was taking the club. It was literally like this. Right. So I looked up, how to not take it inside? And long behold, your T we video popped up and it was <laughs> a lifesaver for me. So what he was explaining is that there's two steps. Step one, have the T face your leg, right? Yep. And then step two, have the T face your toes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And so it's more, <laughs> I remembered everything he said. <laughs> but yeah, that keeps it more on plane because then if you whip it inside, the T is not facing out there. And it was such an easy drill for me to just visualize because I like the visual cues and I think it's actually really helped. Yeah, well, your swing looks much better. If you take a setup there, we're just gonna walk them through this for a second. Okay. So two of the reference points for you guys, if we were to put a club or an object like down the toe line, mm -hmm. let's do the good takeaway with the T pointed towards you. Okay. So when Sabrina does the good, and we'll pull up some people like um, Nelly Corda, maybe Rose Zhang on here, she can see. Take your setup one more time. Uh -huh. So on these golfers, if we drew a line up the shaft that's set up, we'll call that like a plain line. When they do their takeaway, the good version, they would get the club somewhere about here. Mm -hmm. So it would basically ride up that shaft plane that you, you saw in your lesson. Mm -hmm. Now old Sabrina, <laughs> right, in the videos, it, she would get it, I just exaggerate a little, but wh whipped underneath quick. And so the, pretty close. This is kind of where you were. Yeah, it was. We get some slow mos of the before ones. <laughs> so when when she does the bad one, you guys can use this. The T obviously points way out to right field. Mm -hmm. This would be under plane, no good. The good version. Show me the good version without me moving you. Good. So the good version is the T stays towards her. Now old Sabrina. I have a question. Sure. Love so <laughs> love the hand up. Love the hand up. Wait. Please. So. When you whip it inside so much, what are the misses that you'll usually see? Yeah, so let's take your setup and I'll explain that. So if we do the inside, so I think first from here, like what happens with the swing? When Sabrina old swing would go under plane here, mm -hmm. she would get very flat here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very level to the ground. Mm -hmm. And then from here, which we'll talk more about today. This is a good old. Very <laughs> lifty, very yeah. lifty. So like disconnected. Uh -huh. You can golf from there, it's yeah. just more difficult. It's just hard. It's harder. That's why I think when I said you, your good's pretty good, but the timing can get off, it's more difficult. Let's do that one more time. I think my swing was so based off timing. So when I had a good timing day, it was fine. But totally. then when the timing was off, it was just so hard to get it back on track. When you disconnect your arm so much like that, uh -huh. it's just hard to get them reconnected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So let's do the bad takeaway one I more here? time. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> oh. So we go whipped under early and then it'd go flat and then very lifty. Now the problem from here, she would get very up and across, okay? Ugh. And when it went in this motion, this is gross. It'd be like a I know, it's literally gross. Under, <laughs> flat, across, and then Sabrina would get steep early. Perfect. And that, that's, what, that's where the problem comes in. When you get flat, under, and across, it gets steep early, and then you'll see from her, she tried to shallow it late, and then the exit gets too high and down the target line. And this is where the hooks come in, mm -hmm. which is sort of my long answer to your question of what happens. Yeah. It's when you go flat, we're gonna do that together for them to see one more time. So when you go under plane, flat and across, turn your body more away from the target here, then it would go steep. And then you would try and shallow late and you exit very high into mm -hmm. the right. Yeah. So if we look at some of your swings and your exits, 
you would exit with the club very high and right. Yeah, no, I would. If we watched Nelly or Rosang, they would exit with the club more around them. Or the Sabrina now. Sabrina 2, 2.0. <laughs> Yeah. So for you, it indirectly leads to like pushes and hooks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two way misses. <laughs> the worst. Yeah. Nelly's so good. So pure. And both of them, it's like, and really any of the great LPGA Tour players, most all of them, they go up the line, down the line. Mm -hmm. You go up the line, up, 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 and then right steep and then shallow. So when you go play on the course, I'd say the big picture thing to fix for you is to eliminate some of the lifting and make it more connected. But quick fix when you're hitting hooks is we could get your arms swinging lower mm -hmm. and more left mm -hmm. around you would quick yeah. fix the hooks. Okay. I need a quick fix because I don't have time to practice. So if we can just get something <laughs> to work. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let, let's try twofold. Let's grab your, let's grab your, here, I'm going to give you this and flip flop these two. Yeah. Let's put that T in that butt of the club. Okay. And let's take your setup. See, but then this is the thing too, like, when my mental game is good, I play, I hit it fine. So you think it can just be correlated? To I just mind? don't think I could fix your mental game. <laughs> okay. I think that's beyond fixable. That's, that's... <laughs> the best we can do is we're going to play with it and do the decent mechanics. Okay. So here's what I would do for you. I like you doing that T drill. Okay. So it goes like to you into the ground. You can kind of one piece that. What I would start with is I would put this underneath your right armpit. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to, you can do that for yourself. Pop that underneath your right armpit. Yeah. And now, have you done this drill before? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How did it go when you did it? <laughs> it always falls, but... <laughs> okay. So when you put that in, mm -hmm. let's take your setup. Okay. Let's make a backswing at like 50% speed okay. and keep that in. So that should feel to you... Is that 50%? Yeah, that was good. Let's do that again. <laughs> this is going to feel to you. So we're still going to have that T at you. Oh, okay. We're going to have the T at you. It's going to feel kind of down your toe line a little bit. And then your goal is going to be, I'm going to put my hands on you. You're going to make a full swing, mm -hmm. and it's going to probably feel like it's only about right there. Okay. Now, when I say right there, your whole right arm should feel like it stays a little more connected to you mm -hmm. and is lower. Okay, okay. So if you do the bad and you lift. It'll that, fall out. It's going to fall. How I would practice this, I'd put the glove under, okay. right? I would take normal setup. I'd put the T in, mm -hmm. and I'd go one to the thigh, mm -hmm. two to the leg, three to the top. You're going to feel more connected. Yeah. Kind of piece it up. And then on the next one, make it just one fluid motion uh -huh. just to feel so kind of one two three i'm going to feel the same thing and i'm going to hit also keeping your right arm in you're going to feel like the club goes a little more around you but we're going to hit ball one something like this i'm going to feel the same motions okay. and so i'm going to hit a shot that's like three quarter swing three quarter speed uh -huh. okay the difficulty here is to learn something new, you got to go a little slower than you probably want to. Yeah. Right? So I would say two practice swings. <laughs> I would do it. Let, let's try how I just did it first. Okay. So no, this, is, this is like one, two, three, very slow. One. Boom. And now T to the ground. Good. And then up to about three quarters. Okay. Reset. Is that good? Yeah, it was good. Now, no pauses. Just do it real slow. See, that's what I'm saying. My brain doesn't do it to where that's I That's okay. Do we'll it. do it. We'll practice it. Is that good? Yep. Okay. And do it real slow. Now make a downswing with it. Awesome. Do you have to keep it in? Through? All the way through. Oh, okay. Because now when you do the bat on the way through, and if you guys are disconnected and up and down like this too, you should be able, whether we had it under the right or the left, it should stay in on the way back and it should stay in on the way through. See, I used to do it on the way back, but not the way through. I think this for you is going to lead to a, a much more consistency. Okay. Like the bad shots yeah. being solid, less of the hooks. Now you saw how I hit that shot, right? Yeah. This is like, Kind of short, kind of kind of three quarter slant. Right. <laughs> I feel like I actually forgot, but I, I can do. Come it. on. All right, let's try let's try that same feel okay. with a ball. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of feeling the backswing T move, keeping the glove in, just 50 percent speed, real mellow. Doesn't okay. matter how you hit it, just just swing number one, just to get a feel. Yeah, beauty. Now watch this. <laughs> now watch the difference. A little bit under still, mm -hmm. but look how clean that is. Mm. So there's your arm looking like Nelly Corda, Rosang, et cetera. Mm. So it's down lower. Mm -hmm. Now also watch when you come through. Watch that we got to get that a little bit less under plane, which I'll show you how to in a minute. See how that, oh, yeah. I see a huge difference there. Yeah. So that exits more around yeah. you. Yeah. Now do, do that again. Do that again. Do just the takeaway. Okay, here. Yeah. Now from there, that should point to your toe. That yeah, I feel go. sometimes I say at my toes and it's not at my toes at all. Turn your shoulders more. Yeah. So that's going to feel kind of right there. Okay. Very short and arms are low. It's going to go farther than that when we swing, you know, but that's the feel. Should I hit now? You can hit. Beautiful job. Now, in this first part, because you're disconnected and loosey-goosey, 
it's gonna feel like like a straight jacket. It's gonna feel like tight it and kind of restricted. Though. And good. Okay. Good. I want the more compact feeling. Like I feel when I'm going crazy with my arms. It doesn't feel good. Like this definitely feels more because it's just so much more efficient. I don't need all the extra movement. You know. Hundred percent. Okay. Here we go. Yep. Same feels. Keep that in. Keep that low on the way back. Oh, Sabrina, beautiful job. Very good. Really? Very good. It's sort of nice. like, you know, like the ice skater version where like they move real fast in a circle and it's tight, efficient motion. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. Maybe you, you, the loosey goosey like that just isn't, uh, it's not serving any purpose for yeah. you. Yeah. The other little thing I'd add in here mm. is when you're going here, we're going to show Sabrina at the bottom of her swing. The goal is to get the club on plane. The whole point of this video is draw a line up the shaft, get the club on plane on the way back and the way down, okay. right? Now, you go under plane on the way back, but you also go under plane on the way down. Yeah. And so, what we can do is put a little plane station in here or something in your way. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything like that with an object behind you? Yeah, and I've way? stabbed myself. Okay, I'm gonna make it a little easier with my water bottle. So let me see if I can make this simple, okay? So let's give you something you can't stab yourself. Let's take your setup there for a second. Now, an easy way to kind of give a swing plane is to put an object behind us. So I'm gonna put this kind of right behind Sabrina's foot. And I, you want the top of the object, you can use a water bottle or something when you're practicing, to be just above the plane line. So like you take your setup in there, mm -hmm. feel good right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put this, see how this is like just oh, wow. underneath her shaft, I'm gonna move it. But I'm gonna move that back to about right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna play around with where it needs to be. But the goal is gonna be, she's gotta keep the club outside of that water bottle. Oh, I actually really like that. Does that something also simple. help with the backswing too? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's so, so let, easy. let me hop in there, Sabrina, and show you. You stand kind of right by the camera for oh, one okay. second, just so you can see me do one, so you can see. So from here, that's like just underneath the shaft angle. Wait, I'm sorry, say it again? See so yeah, that's like, if I kind of put the shaft angle there, it's just, just yeah. right underneath that. Okay. So what I need to be able to do is keep that in front of that on the way back and on the way down. This is gonna feel in your way on the way down. Yeah. So when you go back, you're feeling the kind of the T drill, T towards me to the toes, a little bit shorter and then getting the club back on plane on the way down and through. If you did these drills, that T in and this, and you did nothing other than this for the next like five years, you change nothing else with your golf swing, just do this, I bet your consistency day to day on the course like- Okay, well that's what we want to hear. Hundreds, like over 100% better. Okay, ready? Yep. I feel like I'm gonna destroy your water bottle. Yeah, that's okay. You gonna you probably have a sense during the late down swing, like the club's like more in front of you. Yeah. Out here, yep, that's good. Yes, beautiful Dude, job. Should I feel like I'm swinging left? It's gonna feel more left to you. Okay. Only cause you're used to going high and right. Yeah. Now, when you swing more left, that would make the, that would get rid of the hooking, the push and hook. You hook a ball cause you swing too far right. Okay. So when you feel like it's going a little bit left, here's another thing. You should be having a nice little thud of that mat when you're doing that drill. Okay. But is that a good mental thing to think swing left? To fix the push and hook, absolutely. Okay. I'm trying to get your swing in a spot where a lot of that will happen by itself. Yeah, more mat interaction. More of a thud, less See, of a See, I brush. never take divots. Exactly, because you're too far in and out. Sabrina, if you do this drill I'm showing you here for the next couple of months like this, I'm telling you your ball strike is going to be way better. <laughs> okay. And it's already coming from a good spot. Beautiful job. Same thing. More, more mat. Ah, that's so good. One more. Hit the mat, don't be afraid of that mat. I lied, one more. Okay, ready? Yep. Okay, now look how good this is. When you swing in and out too much, uh -huh. it's very shallow. The club's very shallow at the bottom, mm -hmm. no divot. Okay. When you get the club more on plane like this, you should take more of a divot automatically, more, more compression. Watch how good this is. Look, look, watch this backswing. I mean, are you kidding me? Look how on plane this is. Watch this. Oh my God, right up the plane, right on your hands. Look at it there. Look at it there. Now look at it come back down. Ooh. Oh, look at that golf swing. That might be the best swing you've ever made in your whole life. I know, the practice swings right are always there. good. No, 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 they aren't always because you normally lift too much. <laughs> this new practice swing is going to be good. So when you do this in practice, you got the glove under, tease towards me, tease towards the ground, the toes, gloves under. Feel the club a little bit more on plane and around. And this is all related. This is all like one thing you're doing here. And then when you hit this first ball, right, just to make sure this stays on plane like that, let's start short and slow. Okay. 
Now, well, I'm see, excited. See how when I did that, the ball actually like faded a couple yards? When you're practicing, if you're like doing it and doing it pretty good, the ball might actually cut a little. Okay. I don't think you'll see that when you golf. Okay. But in practice, it wouldn't be a bad idea for it to cut a little. Yeah. Just so you know you're doing it enough. Would love a little practice rehearsal in between each one. Would be lovely. Killing me with the practicing. That's it. Oh, uh, see, there here was. we go. I told you I would destroy it. That's okay. And this is why I like this. Like if you just bring a water bottle when you go. Yeah. Because you'll never like, you never hurt yourself with that. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel how that's like, feels kind of over the top? Yeah, a little it bit does. More steep? Good. Perfect. You can hit. Okay. Same feels, just kind of 50, 60% speed. Oh, Sabrina. <laughs> that feels really Absolutely pure. Absolutely beautiful. That was a fade too. Gosh. Was it actually way better? Oh, that's really good. I don't know if that's great coaching, that's talent, maybe a little 50, 50. <laughs> so watch this one here. This is the first hit. This is your first hit with that water bottle on. So looking at Sabrina, water bottle down the line. Oof. Look how good this is. Look how good that is. Look how good that is. I'm gonna need that swing. Look at that. That's what I'm saying. It's the best one you ever made right yeah, there. Yeah, that was actually really good. Is this fine with the water bottle there? How do you check it to know that you're on? Sabrina, great question. <laughs> so how you check this to make sure you know it's set up good. Take your setup. I would take my club and um, keep, take your left hand off. Keep your right hand on. That was like left, right. Go. <laughs> See if we get this one right. Hey, keep your hand on there. Okay. And I would just transport this back mm -hmm. and have that like two, three inches underneath your shell. Oh, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Or you can take it like this, like go the whole thing and you can just set it flat on the ground and look at the angle and just give yourself like two, three inches. I okay. could make that a little bit harder on you. I don't want you to be too, you know. You're going to leave with no water bottle. Too out of control. That's okay. I got more where that came from. There's a little bit. That's perfect there. Okay. Am I good? Yep. Same feels. Back swing with the T. Oh, beautiful job. That one okay? I mean, the, these all to me look really good. These are mini swings. And the ball's going very straight, mm -hmm. right? If anything, that ball maybe like cut one yard. Yeah, when you practice this, you got to start short and build up a little bit. This I would say for you fixes probably 90% of stuff. There's going to be like 10% cleanup stuff to do. Yeah. But dude, if you fix 90%. Yeah, that's just a lot of things, percent. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I, I also just want to make a quick comment with that. If I were you now, I would for the next like, 10 years hit all my practice shots with a glove in. Oh, like okay. how, how long have you been going to the gym for? A while. How long you plan on going for? Forever. Okay, so same thing there. Like there's, you don't have to rush out of this. Yeah. This isn't like you're gonna graduate from the gym. Uh-huh. It's like you gotta do it all the time to feel good. Yeah, look just good. for the maintenance, you said. Exactly. Yeah. So I went, you, you plan in your head of like, I'm keeping that glove in for the rest of my life. Yeah. Now, if you play golf for the next 20 years and you hit all your practice with that glove in, do you think your swing would shorten naturally? Yeah, probably. So same feels, no glove in, keeping the club on playing. Yeah, that's a great job. I mean, that is beautiful. Yeah. Your swing there looks just like Nelly Corder and Rozak. Stop. I'm telling you. Are you serious? Up and down, <laughs> one line. Up and down, one line. Okay, so let's say I'm on the course and I need to win money and I can't have 100 swing dots. Yeah. What is one or potentially two yeah. to think of? I would say... Arms low, swing left. Arms low, swing left. Okay. Anytime the ball's over hooking, I would swing more left through, through the ball. Okay. And the more you do the practice, Sabrina, <laughs> like these 20 swings like this, the less you'll need to think when you okay. go play. Yeah. Because that, that's what cripple, cripples me. The paralysis of over analysis. And this is what I mean. Like, I think this is pretty simple. No, I think so too. It's like, keep the club on plane. You go, you lift too much, so it's gonna keep it lower. Yeah. And then we're too under plane the whole time, so we're gonna keep it on plane. I think over the next 10 years, you only, like that's the whole book. Yeah. This isn't like, oh, next week here's new, three new things, three new things. Yeah, see, I hate that when you go take lessons and it's just a different thing at each time. It's too much. It's way too much. And if you identify the right things, you probably wanna spend like at least a year on them. Like this, this is all you need to do. Okay. This is gonna be the one best one. One more, same thing. The last one. Oh, that was so good right there. Beautiful job. Good. Wow, lovely. Now you're going to hit it good with that and it's going to look good on camera like a two for one. That was really Thank good. Thank you so much. Very, very nice. Okay, give me the recap from today's lesson. Yeah, why don't you give me the recap in your words? Oh no. <laughs> what, did okay. we, what did we learn today? <laughs> I, everything just went blank do? in my head. What are we supposed to do? Okay. Show, the, sh show us with a club. 
what we're supposed to do here. Okay, so the key takeaways from today's lesson is keeping <laughs> it more on plane, That's not it. whipping it inside, T drill, the T at the hip, and then at the toes, and then on the way down. Oh, also keeping it shorter yes. and not as high. And then on the way down, being more on plane and not underneath and then finishing left. Beautiful job. Was that right? That's excellent. I would say there's three things, right? It's okay. like, <laughs> <We said. laughs> keep the club on plane, mm -hmm. number one. Get rid of the disconnection on the okay. way back, right? Mm -hmm. And then keep it on plane again coming through. Yes. And you have some simple drills and that's all you have to do. It's not like yeah. you gotta do a million different things after this. It's like a do-it-yourself training aid. Do-it-yourself training aid. Guys, if you wanna get the club on plane, the T-drill and the club on the way back, love that. Sabrina oh. loves the glove underneath the armpit. She loves the water bottle drill. If you guys have any uh, trouble getting on plane, give that a try. Also, if you wanna check out Sabrina's uh, channels, YouTube, Instagram, we'll link that down below. You'll see her try some of the stuff on the course and yeah. the reactions that'll come with this it. This is awesome. I'm, I'm excited. I'm gonna become amazing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.